This is the quietest light I have ever seen in like forever. And it packs over 310 watts of power. If you crave power, precision, peace in your productions, this cute looking adorable COB light is one you should take a look at. Let's roll the intro. As usual for the disclaimer, the company Soundcrafter sent me this light. I didn't get paid for this review. I get to keep it if I like it or sell it after. So technically, that sounds like a payment, right? Also, they don't get to see this video before it's released, nor do they get to have a say. And lastly, everything said in this video is my own opinion. I thought it wise to tell you a bit about the company as I never heard about them until they reached out. The company is called Suncrafter by name and according to their About Us page, they are a diverse group of media specialists from China, Hong Kong, the UK, Canada and Australia with a deep rooted passion for visual storytelling and everything that encompasses that. Now that that's out of the way, the S200B Pro is a 310 watt all white bicolor COB light with a color temperature ranging from 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin. Has no green or magenta correction, so it tracks purely as a bicolored light. It has a very responsive mobile app that we'll take a look at later in this video. It has 10 lighting effects, and according to the manufacturer, it has a CRI of 98 and a TLCI of 99, which for me is outstanding. As expected, it uses a standard Boeing's mount, an umbrella mount, and as you can see, the reflector is also white. Its locking pin is on the side of the light, which you would have to pull back to unlock the Boeing's pin, and on either side of the body of this light is the company's logo, model number, and its patented LED 4.0 print on. Now, important selling point of the S200B Pro is the use of LED 4.0. According to Suncrafter, LED 4.0 is their patented tech which allows their ability to output the highest spectrum rating of 98 CRI compared to traditional LEDs. The company claims that this technology offers color rendering capabilities that are closer to incandescent bulbs. For build quality, it is made from durable metal and plastic, 295mm in length with the reflector installed and about 120mm in thickness. That is the length and height. It also weighs 2.25 kilograms. Although the front part of this light is made of plastic, the Boeing's mount is made of metal. The stand mounting area and umbrella hole are made of metal parts and the locking handle is plastic but very solid. Looking through the top and bottom air vent, you can notice that it has a very well constructed heat sink. If you look even further, you should be able to see the super quiet fans. Now, towards the back section from the left is where you have the DC inlet, which is an IEC lead. There's also a monochrome OLED information screen that is large enough to be read from a distance, a max and Bluetooth button, and a dedicated effect button, while the power on and off switch, dim and set dials are at the bottom. The S200B Pro is priced at $329 with free worldwide shipping when you buy it directly from the manufacturer's website. It comes in a foam cutout cardboard box containing the light, the reflector, a super long power cable, a well documented and easy to read, understandable manual, and a warranty card. Now for power, the S200B Pro allows input of 200 to 240 volts at 50 to 600 hertz, and this will be different depending on the region you're buying from. According to the company's lab test, you should get the following lux values at a distance of one meter. Now I have here in the manual, and I'll read what it says. It says at 2700 Kelvin, um, at you should get 5600 lux. At 3200 Kelvin, you should get 6800 lux. At 6500 Kelvin, or before that, at 5600 Kelvin, you should get 8000 lux, and at 6500 Kelvin, you should get 7600 lux. With a reflector at 2700 Kelvin, you should get 26,000 lux. So that's a whooping 26,000 lux. At 3200 Kelvin, you should get a whooping 33,000 lux. At 5600 Kelvin, 39,000, and at 6500 Kelvin, you should get 38,000 lux. That's with the um, reflector on. Now we have in the max mode which we talk about, you get at 3200 Kelvin because of the range you get 7000 locks and at max mode without the reflector you should get um, at 4300 Kelvin you should get 10,000 locks but at 5600 Kelvin at max mode without a reflector you should get 93,000 locks. The S200B Pro has a special max mode that works only in the color temperature range between 3700 to 5000 Kelvin. 
To activate this mode, simply just press the max Bluetooth button. This takes the power output from 310 watts to a massive 335 watt. If the color temperature falls outside this range, it will revert back to 310 watts. Now for the menu controls and the mobile app, I'll just flip the light on this side and I'll plug in the power cable. I have the power lead here. I have the power lead there and I'll turn it on. So it's currently at just 1%. And this is how bright it is at 1%. And you can see it shows the identifying number of the particular light I have. And you can see the Bluetooth icon is on. Yes, yeah, an F effects one, but where it has in bracket is the color temperature I'm in. And I'll increase the intensity of the light by turning the dim dial and if I were to press this, so it's currently at 27% per, um, brightness, if I were to press the dim button it goes to 20, 40, another press goes to 60, that's every 20%, 80 and 100 and if I click it again it goes to 0. If I also increase it by 1% or 2%, if I were to press the dim dial, it should go to 20. Now, I'm going to reduce the intensity to 1%. Take it down to 1. Now, understand I'm going to, there's going to be some flashing because of the effect. The light is not facing, I'm trying to turn it towards that end. And if I, let me bring it forward a bit. And if I were to press the set button, it will change to, well, it changes the color temperature 6500 Kelvin, 2700 Kelvin, 3200 Kelvin. Let me show you the max mode. But before we go into the max mode, if I was to press and hold the max Bluetooth button, it will ask me if I want to reset the Bluetooth, which I don't want to. I'll just power it off and power it on because I don't want to reset the Bluetooth. I'll turn down the dim or the intensity of brightness to 1%, leave that 1%, and I'll switch to effects. So be ready for some flashing light. So it has 10 effects. So if I click effect, it's an effect one, and I can change it by changing the set button effects, two, three, four, five, six, up to 10. I wanna come out from effect. So I'll press the FX button, and it goes back to the CCT mode. In the mobile app, which I'll show you later, there's other things you can do. But before that, I want to show you the max mode. So the max mode says it can only work within a certain range. So to test that, I'll reduce my color temperature to say 4,000. Yeah, I'll take it down to 4,000. So the 4000 Kelvin and I'll click, remember it's at 1% and I'll click the max button and you see the light just went higher a bit. To check that, to do that again, I'll click the max button again to deactivate the max mode. You can see there's a reduction in the brightness. Max mode again and it goes up, max mode again and it goes down. Now let me test something. If I engage the max mode and push the color temperature out of the range, let's see, let's go up to say, um, 6500 Kelvin, it has disengaged the max mode. So I'll go down to 4000 Kelvin, engage the max mode, and pull it up to 6500 Kelvin. If I press the max mode again, there's no difference. So there was no reduction in the intensity. So once it crosses the range where the max mode doesn't work, it just goes off even though the max mode was engaged so that's it for the max mode and controlling the light another thing i'd like to say is that it works wirelessly via bluetooth and the range is 15 meters with clear line of sight and operates at a wireless frequency of 2.4 gigahertz with no modifier the s200b pro produces a wide even spread that can light up any large modifier such as a dome the results are the same regardless of the cct dialed in and i expected the shadows are nice and clean
Now with the supply reflector, you get a good combination of a fairly consistent light beam. Result are the same once again, irrespective of the CCT, you also get multiple shadowing. When I apply the Bowens reflector from my Godox VR150, the beam spread is still fairly good as with the supply reflector. The results seem to be the same regardless of the CCT dialed in, you also get multiple shadowing. Now for color accuracy, even though the Suncrafter claims that the S200B Pro has a CRI of 98, I'm able to verify the accuracy of this and I still do not have a Seconic light meter. But this is how it is using my Calibri Passport Video Checker and DaVinci Resolve Scopes at a distance of 1 meter between the light and the color checker. For fine noise, the light is ultra super quiet. Yes, I said it that way. Man, it is so impressive that the first time I fired up the light, I thought it had no internal fans as I couldn't hear anything. The first time I heard the fan spin was when I was updating the light via the app. As it cycles through the update installation, I heard the fan spin up so loud and then got so quiet. A few days later, when I had the chance to look inside the light was when I noticed the fans. Even at 50% brightness for 15 minutes and when ramped up to 100% brightness for another 15 minutes, I still did not hear the fan spinning at an arm's length. I had to bring my ears very close to the vent to hear them. Now to show you that, I'm going to power on the light again. So the 1% brightness, there's a kind of whiny sound that I, I get from the light. Well, I don't know why I'm hearing that whiny sound, but I'll change the color temperature to say 4000. So let me be forth at 4000 and I'll ramp up the intensity to say 20%. And at 20%, I don't know if you can hear the fan. The light light to me is the Sirius C150X, which is my new light here in the studio. I can hear the fan on. It's currently in the smart mode. So you probably are wondering if my mic, which is the Sennheiser MK416, is picking up that, 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 that fan. Am I hearing the fan from this light? I'll just keep quiet for a second. Let's hear. Anything you're probably hearing is the fan noise coming from my Sirius C150X, which is just away from me. And the fan setting is, at, is set to smart. Now, I'll take this light up at 20%. Just to show you that 20%. I've turned on this camera, it's recording. So that's at 20%. And I have the Sennheiser MK416 just a foot away from my forehead. So if I bring my ear very close to it, to the vent, I can hear it and it's super quiet. I'll take it up to the mic. I don't know if you can hear it. I'll bring it down. I'll increase it to say 60% brightness. That's 60% brightness. I am not hearing anything. I'll take it up. Can you hear it? Let me keep it here for now. Can you hear anything? I'll ramp it up to 100% brightness. So that's now 100% brightness. Can you hear any difference in the fan noise? At this distance from my ear, I'm not hearing this fan. I'm still hearing the Sirius C150X, which is a small portable light. I see not hearing the fan coming, the fan noise from this light. Let me lean in. I can hear the fan now once I bring my ear very close to the vent. I'll lift it up just to this high. Can you hear anything? So that's very impressive coming from the Suncrafter SB or S200B Pro. Now for what I would like to have, maybe in the future, there can be DMX capabilities built in, or they can control multiple of these lights in a group from the app. Another thing I noticed is that when I tried to mount it on one of my light stands, I couldn't get it to hold on using the screw at the mounting point as the screw pin 
was a bit short. I have never had this issue with any other light. If my light stand was a bit thicker, it wouldn't be an issue. And that's it for today's video. If you're looking for a top tier, ultra quiet light with a professional touch, then the S200B Pro from Suncrafter would be your go-to light. You can see all other products that they have on their website, link in the description below. See you in the next one. And don't forget to like and subscribe and drop any questions you may have in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next one. It's your filmmaker. Peace.